I've had the shrimp in the water at right about 30 days right now and everything's going really well I think. I've had very few casualties. One thing that I've done is I've adjusted the solidity level to be a little lower. Now there, I was looking at some research that had been done on Willapa Bay and the graph that I see shows that the salinity level changes quite a bit throughout the year and it makes sense in the winter time with all the rain the fresh water's coming in from the rivers and that's going to reduce the salinity levels and then the drier times during the summer salinity level increases so you can see how there's a real up and down there now the average of that might be more in the brackish range you know maybe 24 25 percent i had them at about 30 percent which is typical ocean level but I did drop them down to 25%. I, I looked at it today and it was at 26%. So a little less salinity might match their you know, normal routine there in Willapa Bay anyway, a little better. And they seem to be just fine with it. They're, I've seen no difference. Now the temperature of Willapa Bay also fluctuates quite a bit through the year. And I've had some fluctuation here as well. Right now, the temperature is just over 50 degrees because it's gotten cold here in Washington lately. It's, it's just colder here. And I still have the little heater running. In fact, they kind of crowd around the heater. I don't know if they're attracted to the heat or it's just something for them to get up to. They, they like to go up next to things. I'm not sure about that. But they're, they're less active now at 50 degrees, 51 degrees. And that's not a, a problem, it's totally normal. You know, animals typically get less active as they cool off and their metabolism will raise as, as the temperature rises. So when the water was up about 56, 57 degrees, they were really active and they're feeding a lot and that's all good. So it'll be interesting to see just how warm they can get and be okay. And it's probably not a matter of how warm the shrimp can be, it's a matter of how warm the water can be and still become healthy. That's a little bit of a different concept there. So I'm interested to see how that happens and that's something that's really super important. Because in Willapa Bay, if you look at the temperature graph for the year, it's going from uh, close to 40 degrees in the winter all the way up to close to 70 degrees, 67 degrees in the summer. So that's quite a temperature range. So I'm hoping that they can handle the Angler West store <laughs> in the summer because it gets pretty warm in there. And even with a water chiller, it's going to be tough to keep it down, you know, to in the 50s or something like that. I think we can get in the mid 60s. That'll be okay. But I'm, I'm hoping that'll be sustainable in the long run. Now, when you're mixing salt in the water, there's a couple things you want to you know, keep in mind. This is what I'm using. It's just commercial salt um, you buy in a you know, pet shop or any place where they sell aquarium salt and the key to this is to when you're mixing it to not just take it and dump it in all right so it's half a cup per gallon of water and as I'm pouring the salt in I'm using my trusty stirring stick here to mix it up really good while I'm pouring it in you think about making pancake batter if you dump a bunch of pancake batter right into your water and mix it up it's just going to get all clumpy you know so you have to do it slowly and mix it well as you're doing it well same thing so you, you get that mixed up in there really well and i'm using some commercial dechlorinator in the water also make sure there's no chlorine in it mix it up really well pour it in make sure you're not causing too much of a temperature change this hasn't been an issue here because the water coming out of my hose is close to the temperature of this water but it, that, it's, it's that simple, really. But that's the, the thing. You don't want to just dump the salt into the water. You can, especially with fish, never do that. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you like it, please like it. And hey, you know what? We're up over 200 subscribers. Yay. So if you have some friends, please share this. And um, if we can get this built up a little more, we can do some really cool stuff. And I'm looking forward to it. So thank you very much.